I've been doing dentures for many decades. The color of my hair probably gives that away. Um, as far as my background is concerned, I'm a general dentist, proper practice for several decades. Too. I've been teaching implants, dentures, over dentures for over 20 years. Um, and that's because I've gotten into implants when not a lot of dentists were placing implants, especially general dentists. So naturally, I had to be really good uh, in dentures because back then we didn't have a lot of single tooth replacements with dentures, but there were mainly denture patients seeking help with implants. So I had to be very good in dentures very quickly. So that's how my interest grew in dentures. The traditional workflow, we already, everyone knows already. Uh, we take the preliminary impression, make a custom tray, uh, take the final impression, border mold. That's a second visit. The third visit, you do a jaw record, vertical dimension. You know, fourth visit, wax trying. Fifth visit is the delivery. And that's not including the post-op uh, adjustment potentially, right? Usually there are many. Uh, Compared to that, the digital workflow is slightly different, but there are several different ways, that, different pathways, where a dentist can get in this uh, workflow. The first one I can think of is someone who's very comfortable taking analog impressions. Whatever impression material technique that you may use, you have the final impression, let's say. And you can pour that up and uh, scan that with a digi in intraoral digital scanner that you have in the office. Now that becomes digitized and you're in the digital workflow. Uh, or you can scan the impression itself. Uh, second example would be someone who's had the uh, scanner for many, many years. They're very proficient at it. They can directly scan the ridge intraorally, and that gets digitized, of course, and that's another workflow. Uh, the third workflow, uh, the common one that I can think of would be someone, uh, the patient that comes in with uh, upper lower, uh, let's say, uh, existing denture uh, that's worn out a little bit, old, so dentists can take a wash impression uh, and bite registration with that, uh, both dentures. And you can scan the denture with the intraoral scanner 360, the intaglio surface as well as the teeth surface, and the bite, and that becomes digitized. So there are several different uh, ways you can get in the uh, digital uh, denture workflow at this time. Someone that comes in, a patient that comes in with existing dentures, you can take a wash impression take a digital bite scan uh, and digitize the whole data and actually skip the process where normally we would get a custom tray, a final impression, and then the longest visit probably is when we have to do the vertical dimension, uh, aesthetic parameters, and centric record. That whole visit could be skipped using that workflow and you can go directly to the wax trine or the 3D printed trine. So it'll save at least a visit or two. So that's a huge, I think, for, for uh, general dentist. Second example that I can think of is, let's say someone that you made a denture uh, using the digital workflow a year ago, and Mrs. Jones call, calls you and says, hey, I can't find my denture, or my dog ate my denture, or something, or it's broken in half. Uh, then you'll say, normally, that patient will come back in and go through the four or five visits of creating the brand new denture starting from fresh, from the beginning, right? But if you have the digital file, all you need to do is to call the lab and say, hey, remember Mrs. Jones, print me another denture, send it to me, and within a couple of days you'll get it, and you'll just have to deliver that uh, to the patient. So this is really huge. You save all that time creating that second denture or the new denture for that patient. So I think uh, for the very first time in my career, I can say that dentures can really help you grow your practice whether you're a solo private practitioner or in a group practice setting, uh, this could save a lot of number of visits, uh, reduce the chair time, and actually make it productive for you to do in your office. I personally uh, would want to work with a lab that has a lot of experience doing dentures, uh, expertise with dentures. That means technicians who have a lot of experience, what I'm looking for. Uh, so they can do the complex case that I'm, I'm about to carry out. The second thing is a uh, good communication channel. Uh, you know, every denture case has something unique about uh, that case where a dentist needs to communicate with a lab. And I want to make sure that I can easily talk to someone. And those details that I ask, I want to be assured that those things are reflected in the lab work. So having that 
good communication channel would be very important for me. Uh, third would be, I want to make sure the lab has all the current technology. Uh, example would be a digital venture workflow, having the proper software equipment, uh, all the 3D printing equipment, and the expertise that go with that would be important. Most importantly, perhaps, lab that's uh, on time. There's nothing worse than having to reschedule a patient because your case is not there. So being on time is huge, I think. And also, uh, it would be nice to have a lab that's more flexible. Uh, some emergency cases where you need stuff uh, a little bit faster than normal, if they're willing to work with you on that, that would be great. This is in regards to actually Glidewell Laboratory. I'm, I don't know about other labs uh, out there. Uh, if you request it, as a dentist, if you request it, you will get a 3D printed try and denture that's identical to a final denture, except it's not polished. The final polish is not there, but it's identical in terms of teeth setup, uh, the color of the gingiva, all same as the final denture. So I think this is a huge uh, in terms of how we can help general dentists doing dentures. Because let's say one scenario, uh, you put the, the try and denture in, and you can immediately tell the retention and stability of the denture before you do your final delivery. The, on the next visit. So you already know if it's gonna work or not. So that's a huge point. Second would be, you can check the smile, you can check the occlusion. You don't have to worry about teeth coming off the wax at that visit. Uh, and for patients, it's really real. You know, they can see what the final result will be like exactly, right? So I think that's a really game changer. Now, so uh, that's great. Uh, and that, you know, if there's uh, some modifications that you want to make, you can grind the denture down, you can add to the denture, you can draw on it, send it back to the lab, or take photographs or scan it, send to the lab. And the final visit comes, you know exactly what to expect, you know, the fit is there and all that. Uh, another uh, instance would be where everything's perfect. You do a try and everything looks good. Mrs. Jones is really happy. So next visit, you deliver the denture, right? Uh, and then you say to Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, I have something for you. And, and you say, I have a spare denture for you. That looks exactly like the one I'm giving you today. And she says, oh, really? Wow. So you'll say, you know, there are some emergencies sometimes that happen or can happen. Like you may uh, drop your denture and crack in half, it needs a repair. Dog may chew it up. And you will have a denture, spare denture that you can wear in a times like this and get you out of trouble. And guess what? There's no charge for this. It's early Christmas gift for you. And just imagine how Mrs. Jones would feel about that and what that'll do to your practice. It is very exciting. Again, I'm a little disclaimer. I'm not a mental health professional, right? But in my experience as a dentist who's done a lot of dentures, here's what I found. Ill-fitting dentures and then th those old dentures with poor aesthetics this could really cause a patient to become self-conscious about their smile. And as a result, they may uh, avoid social situations, going out with friends, eating out, uh, just avoiding a lot of social uh, engagement. That could be an issue, especially in older adults, uh, as far as I know. When you, as dentists, we have the power and the positive influence to be able to create a well-fitting denture that looks really nice, the smile, uh, this could really uplift the spirit and patients can become engaged, more engaged again in social situations and that could really change the outlook on their lives.